Hello, I'm Joe Plays Games. Welcome to Primitive Plus Explained. What is it really? What is it actually going to mean for you when you start playing it? It is much more than just simply adding items. There is 136 brand new engrams added, but they have also taken away engrams. Anything that involves electricity has been taken away, guys. So there's no more fabricator, there's no more uh, electric wiring or the light systems. Literally, anything that doesn't involve electricity will still be there. Literally, the best way to explain it is to talk to the man himself, Said. He's the guy that created Primitive Plus. he done it as a mod, as a competition. And since then, he actually works alongside Wildcard in making sure that the mods are okay. Said is big on community guys, this is really meant to be for a server or a dedicated server sort of playthrough. You can play it in single player and you can play it with only just a few friends but the way that obviously you've got all the brand new engrams and the way that you craft and get resources it's going to be much more exhaustive. You can have a general speciality but you won't be able to unlock the full potential of the mod by doing that. He has planned specialisation, so if you do focus on one particular element, you will gain more bonuses in it. So like hunting will give you 10% movement speed. If you're into building, you'll get 10% crafting speed buff. Cooking, you'll get 10% food water decrease buff. And weapons, you'll get a 10% melee strength buff. He's also working on stuff for farming as well. And all of these come with advanced different tiers. Not too sure how these actually fit into the game just yet, whether or not it's something you'll choose when you're loading up your character, or whether it's something you'll activate after a certain amount of level points. Said the creator has been working on this since last August guys. There are lots of new exciting additions added to it, you've got things like Miner's Cart which can hold massive amounts of items. You've also got Mailboxes. One of my fellow Dodo Loco members, Reaper from the Glow Who Penguins, has actually done a tutorial on doing this. I think it may become redundant. Sorry, dude. You can see some of these pictures and that and exactly what's coming. Construction table, a blacksmith table to make the weapons and saddles and armour. So some of these kind of replace directly what's already there. And then some of them also split what's actually being made. This mod is going to be perfect if you like spending lots of time gathering and foraging and getting resources. There is no new content with dinosaurs. In fact it makes things even harder as there will be no platforms on dinosaur engrams. So you can ride your dinosaurs, you can literally get a saddle and put them on them. But the mod won't allow you to actually make or build any platforms on your saddles anymore. There are many resources that you'll get in the same way that you normally get them. By harvesting and gathering seeds, you may pick up things like coffee and fresh wheat. But the difference lies in how you gather them and what tools you use. The big addition is going to be obsidian items. These are the ones that are going to change you getting things from crystal that you wouldn't normally get if you use just a normal pickaxe. So by using an obsidian weapon or obsidian pickaxe, you will gain different resources from the same resource. And there are brand new weapons added to this game. But they're very old school. I'm going to be doing a separate video showing you guys what the hit markers are and what they're like when you use them against a crash test dummy or maybe even some dinosaurs. It's going to be really interesting to see what kind of communities you can build in this. I'm hoping to do it with the Dodo Loco members. Maybe we can get a server going all together. That would be amazing. It is going to be a hard slog though guys, you really are going to spend much more time specialising and crafting certain things. You can be a cook, you can be a hunter, you can be a builder, but you do need to focus more of your engram points and levels into that specialist subject. I can't wait to see what people are going to build for World Tours, so as soon as you get the download or get the mod, please 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 start building and send me an invite to come check out your World or Base Tour. So I'm Jay Plays Games. this has just been a quick brief overview of what Primitive Plus actually is going to be like on the Xbox when it comes out on the 28th of July. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later, bye bye!